Hello dear students. Let us continue with the chapter body movements. In the last class we learned about the gates of animals that is earthworm. The next one we will learn about the snail. The next organism we are going to discuss about the snail. So let us see what interesting fact is there in the snail or how it moves. Let us learn the movements of snail. When you look at the uh, snail, it looks like soft and segment body. So how can you say it is a soft and segment body? By their looks, right? In the body, they are quite soft. But there is something special about the snail is the shell which carries over them which is the cell this is the shell which carries over them at their backs when you see that kind of big structure over their back so it seems as if it's carrying some big structure and that big structure is known as the shell which is made up of calcium carbonate so it is like it is on the skeleton it is the outer side of the body it is not just for fashion it is to scan with the shell the shell is like a skeleton it is a structure which has an outer covering of the body so the shell is an outer covering of the body so it protects it provides a protection and the shell keeps growing as snail grows so size keeps on increasing until the, it reaches the size of an adult after that it does not grow in any further so that's all about the shell it is like coil structure shell over their body the coil structure is nothing but the shell it is a coil structure over their body you might have seen snails in the aquarium i guess right if you have not seen this is how it looks like in the picture okay yes so now let us see the movements of snail when it comes to the movement how does the snail moves the snail moves in very slow speed the snail moves in very slow speed as compared to the movement of uh, any other organism it moves very slowly than them how does it move it it takes the help of the muscular foot here is the muscular foot so with the help of the muscular foot they move so that it can rest on the ground and then with the help of the muscle contraction it can gradually make the organism move so not only uh, they move with the muscular foot there is something very much important in the snail that is muscus which helps to protect them from the mechanical injuries it helps to uh, secrete a slimy substance what is the slimy substance or um, slippery substance as and when the snail moves it gives a slippery substance wherever they move from that place you can see the black dots right the dark dots here that is the slippery substance or a slimy substance that is secreted which protect which protects the muscle foot from any kind of mechanical and in injury when it's moving on the surface there might be sharp or sharp objects or rough surface rough areas of the surface so the muscular foot might get injured so it protects from the injury with these substance it makes the surface smooth so that's how the protection of the body takes place and this is how it helps us uh, in easier in movement this is how it helps the snail in easier to move so i hope you all have understood how what is the movement of the snail let us continue in the next session thank you class enjoy learning